Hi, everybody. Welcome to lesson number four. This is the second video. This is Mr. Hanahan again. What we're doing in the second video, we're, we're going to be inserting a document, which is actually a Google spreadsheet called NPW. Well, it's 2016 NPW G Site Checklist. Okay. And we're actually going to take that document, rename it, and insert it into our website. And in order to do that, let's take a quick, couple of quick steps. There's about four steps that we're going to go together. The first, you're going to click on your mail. And you're going to see all of the uh, invitations that you're receiving for these documents are going to your Gmail account uh, coming from someone called 2016 MPW Google Drive. This specific one is called 2016 MPW G Site Checklist. So let's click on that. It's going to open up this invitation. And we're going to click on that right here. Let's click to open. Okay, so let's take a look at this. First thing I want you to notice at the top, you cannot edit this. You are shared with it as a viewer only. So you're going to notice that the toolbar is grayed out. So our first step is, as always, we're going to click on File, make a copy, and we're going to put our last name and our first initial. And delete the rest of that, and then we're going to get rid of the copy of piece in the front. And we're going to hit OK. All right, so we know it's shared. Well, actually, no, it's not shared yet because if we look up in here, before we forget what we're doing, let's take a click on the share. And we're always going to share it with someone called 2016 MPW. And we're always doing it as edit only. So that's all set. And unselect the uh, notify people via email because we all know that it's coming. Hit OK. And then we are done. All right, so let's take a look at this. Each task is correlated to a lesson. So as you start doing this work, this is a nice visual way of you kind of keeping track of what you've done and what you haven't done yet, or what you might be falling behind a little bit. So let's pretend for a second that we're in lesson four and we've completed everything in this particular lesson for lesson number one. So I'm gonna hit the space bar. I'm gonna put an X over, over here and you're gonna notice it's gonna change color. So it gives you a nice visual kind of uh, update on what you're doing um, and what you need to do. And you would just go right down a list. So again, you click on that cell right there. You hit the space bar, get rid of the X. And you're going to put an X in the done column. Okay. And, you know, it's always a good idea to uh, ask a teacher to check it. But if you feel confident that you've done it properly, you can do it yourself, certainly. Um, and right now, we're just going to go right down the list. So right to, at this point, we should have everything that's done up and through lesson number four. So you should be going right down the list and just making sure if you don't have anything done, you should basically go back and do it or go watch that video in that specific lesson. And then you can just mark it off. So this is what it should look like as you're going into lesson number four and complete um, actually all of this by the end of this particular lesson. So now our next step is we're actually going to go into our website. And then we're going to share this into our website. And to do that, we're going to hit the edit. And that's going to load. And then here we're going to click on insert. And in the past, we've inserted documents. You notice we can do a whole slew of Google products logged in and we can insert them into our website. But this one is a spreadsheet. We're going to click on that. And then when it gets up to the spreadsheet, you're going to select that specific spreadsheet that has your name. Make sure it's the one with your name. You're going to hit select. Okay. Normally, say we want to use the width kind of zero because it goes up to 100% to view as a spreadsheet. Then we're just going to hit save. So you, you can't see it quite yet, but you're going to see that it does have, here's the document name right there. And then we're just going to hit save up in the top right hand corner. And then there's the checklist. Okay. And again, this gives you a nice visual way of seeing what you've done and what you haven't done in this specific one. Now, you notice a little bit right here in my screen, I can't really see the green. It's not too bad. You could potentially go back and kind of tweak it a little bit and move this, this um, column over a little bit, shrink it over, and then you can come back to your website and then hit a quick refresh, see if that kind of helps out the, the visual at all. It, it's a little bit better. Okay, so that's it for this particular lesson, and hopefully you've got it done. Um, and just make sure that you use this as a checklist for uh, completing this project. Thanks for listening.